Now we've been looking at the cold-blooded inhabitants of the heathland here in Dorset. Dorset being one of the few counties in Britain where all six species of our reptiles live, including our three species of lizard. Now amongst them of course is the common lizard, little brown fella that you find all over the nation, quite ubiquitous, but also much much rarer than that and a, a creature specific to the sandy heathlands that you find here in Dorset and one or two other parts of the country is the sand lizard and our camera teams were out and about when the weather was a little warmer watching them nearby here. Sand lizards are much chunkier than common lizards. Beautiful green males, much more drab females. But look at that ritualised behaviour of the female, tapping the ground as the male approaches, because in the early part of the spring, this is when they are courting and mating. They need the sandy substrate because it's there that the females dig a burrow and lay eggs, but only once they have mated. And that is quite a vigorous exercise. It looks actually quite violent. Male latching on, biting the female, finally coupling and eventually she tries to shake him off, not with much success, it has to be said. <laughs> I don't think she really enjoyed that. Anyway, th that's the, the rarest of our lizards. This, quite probably the most common. It is a slow worm. A misnomer, if ever there was. Well, they're quite slow, but they're not a worm. They are most definitely a reptile. But how do I know it's a lizard when it has absolutely no legs? It looks like a snake. But it isn't. It is definitely a lizard. And we know this when we take a very close look at the face, especially the eye. Watch the eye. Watch it. There you go! It can blink. It has an eyelid. And no snake in Britain, in fact no snake, has an eyelid. It is just that that shows in close detail that we have here our, as I say, most common lizard. They're um, very, very smooth and slow because they feed largely on ant larvae and pupae and so they're spending a lot of their time punching around through the soil in ant nests and so legs would simply be a hindrance. They also have a tail that will detach if it's pulled like most lizards and consequently um, you have to handle them very very carefully if you handle them at all.